So why should less than 0.1% of the people who they claim take, uh, to come and see be paid since 2009? Oh. They, are, they are being paid, they are being trained, they are being given this in, at the expense of the generality of the people who also suffer the same effect of the deprivation of the people of the Niger Delta. Right, this is a moral question we must ask. Let's wind down with politics. Are, are you interested in what's going on? Yes, I am. What do you think about how the campaign is going on and the candidates themselves? The campaigns in many states like River State and, so, and some other states, River State where I come from, the, 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 the political space is stifled. The political space is being closed. How? Yes. By who? The, the, by the governor of River State. How? Making illegal uh, executive orders. Impairing campaign. Preventing political opponents from campaigning and access to uh, uh, space. Not even public space. Not even government space. Traditional space, playgrounds, and so on. Did he say they shouldn't campaign or they should just pay clean off fee and then go ahead and use the place? What if all these years where they who does he pay to? When his candidate is campaigning, you put up billboard, they go and uh, lynch you, pull down the billboard. Have they lynched anybody for putting up billboards? Oh, it was it, 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 it was viral in uh, Omoma, uh, local government. People were beating for daring to put up PDP campaign. Police uh, did not intervene? Police? We have not heard anything from the police or the security. For daring to put articles, uh, posters. People were beating. The SGB candidate had been attacked in more than one place in River State. But, but in, in the presidential election, yeah. me, I am with Tinibu because I saw what Tinibu did in Lagos and the legacy Tinibu left behind in Lagos. Tinibu was governor of Lagos State. He handed over to Fashola. Now, we can't talk about Atiku. Atiku has never actually handled... Uh, executive power. He was a spare power. He was vice president. What about those who say, we want to try new things? Excuse not me. Not what we've seen before. Excuse me. New thing. Will be of uh, uh, Labour Party. Was a governor. For eight years, like Tinibu. Kwan Koso of NNPP. Uh, was a governor of Kano State for eight years. So we compare these three. We leave out Atiku because he did not have the same power, executive power. He did not exercise the same executive power that Tinibu, uh, Kwankoso, and Obi exercised. Tinibu left power. He gave power to Fashola. Now, can you compare Fashola of Lagos with Willy Obiano that... Uh, uh, or be picked. Can you? But I'm coming. Can you compare the one that Konkoso picked in Kano that succeeded him? You cannot. Look, politics all over the world. Let us not say that Tinibu picked people. Tinibu have Lagos. What of in India? The Indian Congress Party. That one family has been don, uh, dominating. What of in but, Pakistan? But those were, they, they will say... The voters... No, I'm coming. It's, it's about people's reality. Excuse me now. The voting. What of in the United States of America? Where they say is the home of democracy. Where Trump, one man that I think something is wrong with his head, is speaking candidates, is sponsoring candidates. If he, do, he doesn't endorse you, in the, in the Republican Party, you cannot win. So when we are talking, we are talking as if we are in isolation. We are not in isolation. We look at the record. If you look at the candidate, Tinibu stands out. It's a success story in Lagos. So how I'm about, to cover. How about those who say, well, that may be the case. Yes. But 
they look at the political party because here yeah, it's parties that present yes. the candidates. So he will still work within the same party, within the same structure. And they, from what they've seen, 